time to elevate. I got no time to lose. Cause I was born to win. Where the winners at? Where the winners at? Mm. I got no time to lose. I was born to win. <laughs> How long are you going to red light your readiness? Many of you have been ruminating on the mistakes rather than ruminating on what makes you great. I thought about Amos, Amos chapter 7 and verse 14. Amos said, I am no professionally trained prophet. I'm not the son of a prophet. I'm just a shepherd, a herdsman tending to fig trees. Listen, my dad dropped out of ninth grade. I wasn't dealt the best hand. But you can bet your lifesaver, your very last bottom dollar that KKW is going to play to win. And see, many of you allow individuals in your sphere of influence, their silence to stifle your success. You've got to be aware when people go silent on you, don't let it suffocate you, let it strengthen you. Did you know that the queen, Queen Elizabeth, she takes only two calls, personal calls. There are two people she'll answer that phone for. Let that sit. You don't need a lot of people in your ear, baby. But you do need the right thoughts in your head. Don't ruminate on the mistakes, ruminate on what makes you great. And if it's worth having, it's worth fighting for. Fight for your dreams, fight for your future, fight for your new body, fight for your mind, fight for your life, fight for your vision, fight, fight, fight. Whatever it takes. If it's worth having, it's worth fighting for. Don't allow your past to dictate your power, your potency, your prosperity, your progress. And if they go silent, it's good. You can hear yourself better. Hear what you desire to accomplish. Hear what you want because group think can be toxic, baby. If you can't stand on your own bodacious belief, what can you stand on? 